Let me tell you, they got a, a heck of a weekly brew in this week. This weekly was created by Super Auto Pets gamer, streamer, professional, man of wealth and taste. Please, uh, please believe, what does he say? What does Mick Jagger say? Please believe me, hope you guessed my name. Anyway, that's Bob Dylan singing a Rolling Stone song, apparently. Scooty, Scooty made this weekly. Scooty did the dub. This weekly is very interesting. In the early game, there's not a whole lot going on to lean into. All the metas in the early game are temporary. Let me be like a sticky nut. Sticky suspect, me when I am trying to find the person who ate all the plums from the fridge. Spoilers, it was me the, the whole time. Later, you know, and I say later, but the lateness of this is, is part of the interesting nature of it right now. I, why am I not buying a strawberry for these hummingbirds, man? Later on in the, in the week, or in the, in the turn number, I should say, becomes very focused on gold and one of two things. Scaling the previously unscaled via... Sure, I'll take that. Um, via lionesses, and there's some tricks to get your lionesses popping as fast as possible, or alternatively, leaning in to like a crocodile, tiger, parrot type beat. And, and running that and trying to beat the scalers to the punch. So in the early game, I think just preserving HP is good. And then later, inside of us, there will be two wolves. And we'll figure out which wolf we want to be. I'll get you next round. Strawberry, give me a strawberry beret. Yeah, the kind you'd find at a secondhand store, for example. Okay, that's the least experience. I know I said I was going to buy you next time, but we, there wasn't a next time. What do you want me to do? What do, you, what do you want me to do here? Okay, so I have gotten that 10 piece this week. I played a little bit on stream today in case you're wondering how I know so much about this weekly. I got a 10 piece on my first round of this and then promptly uh, got destroyed the rest of the time. <laughs> so I think that we don't have a strawberry, so you two are gone. A parrot will serve us a great purpose eventually, but not quite yet. Otherwise, I guess you should be a mosquito for now. I would freeze you just in case we get another blobfish. That there's crazier things have happened. And remember, early game, like right now, winning is great if we could get something that, that pops off. But surviving with draws is okay. Because there really is, like, a, there's a late game focus on the, the weighting of when your run is going to peak in terms of its power relative to the power of the run surrounding it. Okay, I'm freezing. Look what showed up. Either way, a parrot can go crazy if you get an early crocodile, especially. Nah. Nah. Okay, you forced my hand. Or you could try something <clears throat> like a weasel um, and start building up your econ early, but there's not even that much that I want to see on the next couple of rounds. We're kind of, the, the real game, unless you like royally botch it, the real game is going to start at like turn six, or uh, tier six. So just to preserve as much HP as possible for now is okay, I think. I'm going to give you a pineapple because at some point I want you to become a crocodile. Not interested. I would definitely buy two cans, and I'm not talking about Sam. Maybe, but I'm skeptical. <laughs> yeah, okay, Flea, I think, kind of goes crazy. I don't think our build is good yet, but having a level two parrot with a pineapple will be crazy if we get a crocodile. You can see we're, we're running up to some interesting squads here that have got some, their economics pilt, their economics minded, shall we say. Either way, I'm, I'm okay. The, the nightmare is when you go against an econ team and you lose or draw. Because that means you screwed up. <laughs> that means you should be running econ because they have a future. They should be less likely to have a present. You all laughed at me. <laughs> and now you're all gonna pay. Now you're all gonna pay, okay? Can me for a potential lioness in the future. I don't mind if I freaking do, okay. So from this point forward, 
I think that half of every opponent's squad will be dead before the round even starts. And I think that means we should, if we get the opportunity to scale well, so be it. Otherwise, we're going to just try to win the game as fast as possible. And honestly, you would be surprised how long this will remain viable. Based on what I played on stream, at least, which is a sample size of not much. <laughs> <laughs> you will also maybe not be surprised uh, how many teams that look very, very similar will come over here. Anyway, hang on. Let me see. I'm consulting my game FAQs guide. I'm not because I'm joking. I'm joking. I'll take more cans. It's a head start. Some people might have lionesses by this point. Listen, you're not doing much for us anymore. We might as well at least get someone with a skewer. Can me again. Most important thing for me at this point in my life, so I guess we could run you behind one. It would be incredible for us to get a level two crocodile. That would go crazy. That would go insane. I don't really want to blobfish at this point. We're at six wins. Pteranodon, I don't think we need a Pteranodon. A flea has been good for us. What did you... Oh, you're all going to pay. <laughs> a tiger behind, the, behind you. And what do you have? Emu, bat, taper, poison, dart, frog, weasel. Not interested. Give me one of these. Okay. And I think we want it like that now. So how is this going to work? Level one croc makes a level two croc via the parrot, which then gets to act as a level one croc again, thanks to the tiger. I think we basically just got um, our, our 10th win. Now, I, I feel a little bad because this is not like, a, it's not the cool way to do it. Sorry. Sorry, I'm not doing the cool guy setup where I get five lionesses and go crazy. But instead, I'm taking the path that it laid out in front of me. Now, apparently, the theme of this weekly is that because it's such a slow-played weekly, there's more opportunities to get a sloth and perhaps even to turn the sloth into a level 3 sloth and then get the sloth badge. It's not what I'm doing, but at the same time, I'm farming. <laughs> Okay, interesting play with the one up there. And then you, you got me with that one. But still, I think you're in trouble. You're in trouble. I think that this is a really cool idea for a weekly. And I'm not just saying that for like, you know, streamer diplomacy or whatever. This is a perfect shot, by the way. Holy. Because it's not a, a one that's themed around um, like strategy, it's, it's sort of themed around like a, a rare outcome, which I think is, is a very interesting way to have approached it. I would not have thought of it myself. Anyway, plus I'm amazing, apparently. Plus I'm incredible. I'm out of control. What do you got for me here? I think you gotta freeze a strawberry just in case. I feel like hummingbirds do okay early. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll be like an overpowered machine. Chat GPT-5. Undefeated at uh, writing B minus level essays for freshman year college students. Hey, it does more than that. I'm I'm trying so hard not to be an AI hater, okay? Because I, I the the promise of it is incredible, but this really it, it hit home for me when I binged because I was on Microsoft Edge at the time. Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, quote, jobs gone, okay? Now, this is a video where Michael Jackson ad-libs firing somebody on the stage um, during a rehearsal because they messed up something with the audio. The search gave it to me instantly. Instantly. And we're going stoat-pilled here, by the way. Unfortunately, Bing also then 
runs your query through a um, the, the Bing AI, whatever the heck it's called. I, I don't know. N names are for friends, and, and AI is no friend of mine right now, so I haven't learned it yet. No offense. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No offense. It said, it looks like you're searching for a video that references an urban legend of Michael Jackson firing somebody. No, listen here. Listen here. You already found the video. How smart could you be if you don't know that you already found the video? This is the thing that's, that's going to disrupt technology and, and the job market as we know it. It doesn't even know that it knows it. Make it make sense. Right now, and, and again, I'm not in a field that really uses AI. I mean, there was that like AI Seinfeld for a bit, and then it got banned, and then it came back, and now it gets like 100 viewers. So, no disrespect, all I'm going to say is humans stay winning for now. For now, things could change. However, <laughs> hang on. Multiple strawberry friends? I don't think so. Predominantly, what I have seen from artificial intelligence that I have had access to in its present state is that mostly it just seems to be reciting the search results that I asked for back to me in English instead of just posting them on a page, which is like, I mean, it's cool in a way, but I'm also like, what are we doing here? Wait, why, why are we? There's gotta be, there's gotta be something more. It's also made some of the absolute worst computer generated music I've ever heard in my life, but we don't need to get into that, okay? Now, do I think that we could just run Parrot and probably go crazy mode? Absolutely. I absolutely think it's possible. Do I think I have too many cans of sparkling water on my desk because I have to grab three empties before I find a full? Yes. That much isn't even up for a debate, okay? I think you're gone, you're gone. But I think we can also take a different path here. Leave me, leave me. You're gonna become a lioness, hopefully. You're gonna pop out here, you're gonna pop out here. I think we want like this. Chili to the nearest friend behind. <laughs> this is not the... This is not the ideal setup for the... <laughs> Just bear with me here, okay? This is not the ideal setup for this team long term. But the blobfish are ideally going to be pilled. We would like to weaken... Well, that's a problem. We'd like to weaken, like, the whole squad first. Oh my god, we still won. And then get him with the chili pepper. And, and I think there's some free wins to be found in the mid-game there. I will... Level 3 stoat is kind of what we're looking for. I know we could go level 2 tar... We could go level two Lydia, but the stoat getting up there opens up. It's probably worse, but it opens up interesting paths for us. I hate this, by the way. Give me a bat for now. Because if we sell it into like a level three snake or something like that, that would be crazy. It seems fine. It seems fine. Okay. Oh, how dare you? <laughs> I would, I would. I'm not that interested in a level three urchin, but respect for what you've done for us so far. Give me a level three stoat. It would spit out a tier four right now. That's why we simmer. Now, if I could get it to spit out a level three crocodile, I would love it. But for now, let's run stonefish. I think we'll run stonefish back to be like anti-crocodile tech. You also have to get sold. And just the order of this squad makes a lot more sense right now. Keep in mind, like this, we, we peak a lot later than in your typical run. So this might not look like it's anything special, and it might not even be anything special. Oh! But just surviving is good enough right now. We'd get, a, we'd get a tier 6. We're, no, we'd get a tier 5. We're simmering on that. Give me a level 2 stonefish. A lioness is very important. Get the lioness out there. The faster it gets out there, the happier you're going to be. 
chocolate to level up your lioness. Oh, <laughs> with four life remaining, I'm feeling mighty fine. <clears throat> Don't shoot me. Oh, that's such a good move on your part. Congratulations. And yet, we still draw. No, we lose because of the chili. Oh, no, we win. <laughs> I forgot how games work. Oh, this game works. Level up. Now, I do think Crocodile could go insane here. Don't get me wrong. Oh, baby. I'm, I know I'm being annoying right now. It's kind of my thing. So we have a level two and a level one lioness, and we won our last round. We have the only form of scaling in the weekly this week, and we've got two of them, and one of them's a level two. If we sell the stoat, and this thing becomes a level three lioness next round, I am going to start believing in miracles. Where are you from, you sexy thing? Now that's, that's fine. I'm happy with a the draw there. Sell me. Well, <laughs> spend one gold to activate the buy ability of the nearest friend ahead. I suppose we could get something with a buy ability. But in all likelihood, we would basically just be keeping you around to hunt for some stickers. So that really took some of the wind out of my sails. Um... I think we shouldn't have frozen the tar. I think it's time to start moving on from that. But we're, we're as much as the, and apologies for the burp, it's the sparkling water. For, you can't have one without the other, you know? Um, we, losing this, the, the stoat becoming a catfish is really bad, but our scaling is so crazy. I think, that it's like a cell. I'm. Listen. Buy me. Buy me. At some point, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put you here, but I thought about. I did. I really did think about it. Um, sell me. Buy me. I can't buy both. Okay, buy me. You should not be a six seven anymore. I, I should put another lioness on top of you. I. I think that this is strange, like a doctor, but just work with me on this. I think our order should be thus. So that the taper, when it dies, is guaranteed to become a scorpion, which is the only thing that matters as the res. And then it also summons a taper which I don't even know what, it, it might not even get a faint trigger when it dies. See this, but no disrespect, Masala Poppy, that run is dead in the water. You got the scaling, but you, you don't have the life for it. You gotta have a little bit of both, okay? You know that, you know that already. So one of these, one of these, roll me once. You need to not be here anymore, even at the expense of our scaling, because we, we gotta win rounds. On the other hand, what do we... No, you know what? You'll give me a tier six for that, so it's worth it. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> That's all right. I'll give you this for one round. So I feel like we're in great hands. Like, we're, we're going to be closing in on, like, exclusively having 50-50s. Oh, you got sniped. I should have seen that coming because everybody's using a crocodile. And it didn't matter because we won anyway. Okay, so, I mean, we're, we're looking very clean with it. Very, very clean with it. You're going to stick, so you might as well take the one up. Can kind of seems like overkill, but I mean, it is scaling. Here's, here's an interesting one for you. Sell me. Buy me. I'm, I don't want you to be in the sniper position. You should be in the sniper position. You're weirdly our worst unit, which I'll admit makes no sense. And then you take this, even though I don't think that's relevant at all. Our taper will die, summon something, summon another thing, and then resummon itself. Assuming it, the Pteranodon lives, which somehow it did. Um, but actually, all that is a lie, because we're not even going to see our taper do anything. Holy cow. Wait, what, what? 
Oh, because you have a faint trigger. Your trigger is going before your trigger. Oh, brother, do I have a stonefish victory? I, I have not gotten a 10-piece with it, so I think we have an obligation to keep you around. Well, I would... Listen, there's a lot to like here. <laughs> That's what I would say. Tyrannodon that copies the effect of it. If I, you're not going to summon anymore, though. That's the thing. I mean, a 3838 death touch goes insane. For sure. But it's like the... I guess I'm stressing over something I don't need to stress over. Like, everything's going fine. You could take essentially any animal you wanted to here, and you'd be totally fine. Like, you could even throw out, like, another lioness real quick. But ra rather, considering you don't do anything, no disrespect, how about a 43-43 snake that will also throw a pineapple on soon? And then I don't even know what you're doing at the back. Honest, I don't, I don't know what this will do. I think it should be like this. So that, no, it, yeah, no, no, this is right. It should be like this. So when you die, you spit out a scorpion and then you summon another taper. I don't know. It's complicated, okay? Well, now this scorpion got sniped. I'm in the exact same position I was in earlier. <laughs> Bro, stop moving me up to the front. My team is famous. You don't, you don't have anything to worry about. You need to level. That's... Forget about everything else. Just focus on getting a sticker. That's crazy good. <laughs> that, we got much stronger. Uh, roll. I just need, I need chocolate for you in the next few rounds. Just uh, come on. We're sticker hunting. Like we, we seem calm and cool and collected. We seem under control. The snipers are, are not affecting us, really. We remain unaffected by all of this. I'm not even concerned. I'm still unconcerned. I remain unconcerned. All I'm concerned about is not getting that right there. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, see ya. Ooh. We had a lioness win, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Undo. Undo. Tech support. I need you to keep you around. Uh, whatever, dude. I mean, this is the week to to sticker farm. So like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sweat it. By the way, why wouldn't you buy the scorpion there? Like, I'm I'm killing it, but I am making mistakes. No doubt about it. You got something going on? I would never dispute that you got something going on there. I just Is it enough to stop uh, my team made up exclusively of 50-50s? I don't think so. We finally got the sticker. Okay. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Had a great time. Two 10 pieces. I'll see you next time. Click the like button if you enjoy it. And uh, great weekly, Scooty. Great weekly.